Hey, what's up, guys? DK here. Uh, mail day recap for Wednesday and Thursday. Tuesday was uh, nada. But uh, Wednesday, David Pop hooked me up with some cards. He uh, sent me a couple cards that were missing from the mega tray that we did. Like he said, it's hard to keep track of uh, making sure that he packs all uh, 40 some cards that he sent me in return for like just a buttload of stuff I sent him and uh, signed glove and stuff like that. But uh, he sent me over a round three Ricardo Almeida and then a couple extras here. Uh, he said he's going to send me some Stevens cards. Well, he ends up sending me signed uh, round four Jeremy Stevens cards. I thought they were going to be unsigned base so I could TTM those. So sent me over two uh, Jeremy Little Heathen Steven round fours, a Phil Davis that was left out of the trade, and like I said, the round three. I don't have that one out right now. And then the surprise was uh, he hooked me up with uh, AP Showtime Pettis, Anthony Pettis, <coughs> nice uh, tops finest, signed in some rad looking blue. So that was cool. That was Wednesday. It was better than getting nothing, that's for sure. David Pop, you know what? I totally appreciate all these cards. These are good, good PCs. Um, and then now for the mail day today, I got three packages in today. Um, got some stuff from Big Blue 89. Mike hooked me up. Coming from North Babylon, New York. He, uh, we made a trip. I don't know if we make a trade. We just keep swapping cards. I keep trying to find him cards for his round three complete set that he's trying to get done. Uh, I think he's down to ten now. And uh, so one of these videos, I'll put up a list of his needs list. So if any of you guys out there have uh, signed uh, round three that you're willing to trade or sell, uh, I'll show you what list he's got a need of yet. So I like helping him out to knock out that. Uh, 150 signed card um, set that he's got going, but uh, he had a couple of cards up for trade that I totally wanted to get my hands on. This is a Cameron Dollar Ultimate Fighter issued card. Sorry, I've got to take it out of the top loader, but uh, I don't have any Cameron Dollar in my in my uh, in my PC. This is going to collage. I'll try to take off. I might take off the two mic at the top. I didn't care about that at all. And I love this card. This this is pretty tough looking. Uh, Rich Antonito, another another uh, Ultimate Fighter issue card. And then uh, before he shipped them off to me, he asked me if I needed any base, which I think I'm making it uh, a habit of mine to mention in almost every video that I'm running low on base. Like even today, I went through my base again. I got like a little 400 count box that's maybe half full and. Uh, a lot of them are just left over from what I've already gotten, so I'm not going to send them. But there's a few in there, like I'm sending out to James Tahuna. Uh, still got to get uh, Marcus Davis. K Sauce, I got to get him. And uh, that's pretty much it. I mean, I've, I've pretty much pretty much picked through that box of round threes and round fours. So he hooked me up with a uh, Forest. These are unsigned base, uh, round four. I never really did have this one unless I TTM'd it with something that Forrest didn't want to sign. Um, so I got that unsigned um, uh, base, Anderson Silva. I definitely needed this to TTM. It's a uh, moment of truth, Shale Sonnen. This Joker, uh, Eric Koch. And then I uh, ended up getting the top's finest Showtime. So I'm going to TTM that still. Definitely need a light. Love this dude. Just uh, got a nice little PC of him. Nothing too much, but uh, that. I'm trying to TTM this Hamill since I wasted about eight cards on him on two TTM. I don't try and get eight cards signed. I was like, I sent him three to sign, and I had three uh, marked for him to keep, but that never came back from MMA stop when he did a seminar. And then I'm going to TTM this bad boy too. Get some Ken flows in since I traded away a few of mine. So, Mike, totally appreciate the base and love the two uh, Ultimate Fighter uh, editions. Uh, two nice cards, two uh, nice cards going in the collage. All right, so that's that. And then, oh yeah, David, David uh, from Canada, dude, got something in the mail for you. 
Yeah, that's right. D. Ricci. Gotta do something here, pal. I think this would be a good segue. This is uh, the uh, Frank Mir Zions promo that you wanted. Sign there in silver. So that's going up to you, pal. Shipping it out to you as soon as I can. Within reason, you know. So, that's yours. And, so yeah, that, that was two of the three packages. And then, a good segue to that is, that's a Zions promo. And, uh, here's my John Bones Jones Zions promo. But I'll start with the Anthony Pettis. D-Money. Derek, I blew it. These are beautifully cut mats, and I thought for sure that these promos that I was going to mat with sign sign cards were five by seven. So, Derek, you cut me some sick looking mats, perfectly nice corners, nice and straight. Looks awesome. I'm going to have to convert these to uh, in-person photos and sign cards. I think I'll probably probably do one of Ed Herman and um, somebody else. But Derek, I'm going to have to be a return customer pretty quick and get something made up that's nine by something or whatever, but I blew it, dude. I never measured the things. I figured they were five by sevens, but they're not. So I'm not going to butcher the form promos, but they don't, they, yeah. So dude, I'll just chill with this. You guys can see it just doesn't fit. I wanted to put the whole, the whole promo in there. And then I have, uh, made a, made a, made a trade with somebody who's hooking me up with a, uh, I think it's a title shot relic that's going to go here of Anthony Pettis. And I was going to put some kind of UFC logo down here, just something quick and dirty. But, uh, Derek, we got to get back on that cutter. So then there's my uh, title shot I got in person. And then one that I was super stoked to get in the, to get in a map was my uh, John Bones Jones um, Zions promo. I taped it in there temporarily just for, just for show. But, uh, yeah, then I... This is kind of cool. Uh, JBJ calls me Dave. I don't really go by Dave, but whatever. He called me Dave, and then he signed my uh, round four. That was through the mail, and he took some mail from uh, Albuquerque up to... Was that Jersey, where he fought um, Shogun? At the hotel, he did some fan mail, and a bunch of us got some stuff back, but he left a lot of stuff unreturned, which wasn't too cool for other people, and I think I had one other nice... 8x10 TTM out to him. But, uh, so yeah, that's a nice red one. Like, again, again, I'm going to turn it into, uh, I'll put a five, a true 5x7 five in here of me and, me and a fighter from, uh, the Versus 5 in Milwaukee back in August. I got some nice pictures. Like I said, I'll get the Ed Herman for sure. And, uh, one other one. So these won't go to waste by any means, but, dude, <laughs> I don't know. I totally spaced and, uh, didn't measure them. So, yeah, those. I was excited to get those today and sport those on my on my recap video, but once I got once that Zions once that once I saw that uh mirror for uh for Re Ricci or Ricky for David up there in Canada, once I saw that I knew shoot, these cutouts are too small. The mats are too small. But whatever. Still some good stuff in the mail. Like again, Derek, love the mats. They'll go to use. But yeah, I'll be uh knocking on your door or uh, ringing your bell for uh, a couple more mats, a little bit bigger. That's it guys, hope you had good mail days. Later.